Nah, no, I don't really mix graph and relationship and that because they're just like normal people, innit? it? They're not gonna understand civilians. It. Just, yeah, literally that, bro. It's just gonna, it's gonna seem like some crazy person, bro. Like yeah. stop doing what I'm doing to plan to go somewhere, to basically vandalize someone's property, <laughs> take a picture, come home, and pretend nothing happened. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official. Dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Um, oh shit, it's going down. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready to send this one up? Let's have it. Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central London, central as you need to be, choose to be. You're working accordingly, there's nowhere else you need to be but here. Uh, big shout out to all the sharers and carers, people have been spotting us on the day jump, 500 plus podcast though, we're getting on with it, we're getting on in our age. Um, and if you want more of that timeless classic, you go to Kellervision app, free download iPhone, Android, for your street culture sports, furthermore, with a ton of archive on the Kellervision YouTube channel, that's what it's all about. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Inside the house, we have a gentleman that very much keeps himself to himself in the North Wheezy region of London. Uh, it goes without saying, uh, with a flurry of friends and contributors that he, he collaborates with, big shout out, Eags inside the place. <laughs> Goes by the name of Tank. How are we, yes, sir? My brother, you're right. I'm <laughs> yeah, good, I'm good. Man. I'm good. It's your first time on the mic, right? It's yeah, fun. man. <laughs> How yeah. you feeling, my brother? How's it going? How you been? All good, man. Same old, just different day, isn't it? It's going to be a lot of surprising people out there that are, that are going to see you, uh, see you having a conversation because uh, you're a man of very, very small words. You, you let your talent do the talking, right? Yeah, man. I don't really mix and dabble, and I keep myself to myself, isn't it? How is that? How come? Uh, I don't know. I just don't mix in that in like the graph world, and I've always done it. But I don't know. I'm from like, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. More of like the dark side of the street life, if you know what I mean. Ooh, I'm not right. really a hundred percent graph. I'm just more on the roads. So yeah. then, I just I don't know. In it, I just don't really. Mix like that, innit? Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, man. Is that is that a kind of block? I'm getting deep now, but is that kind of a, a block that you put a measure of like how much people know about you, so to speak, because of all the other things that um, that you're integral of? Pretty much so, man. But I don't know. I just I just like graph in it, so I don't want to put the face to the name, the name to the face. If that makes sense, I just keep yeah. graph to graph. And then that's pretty much it, man. You're not the only one out there. You know, there's a lot of people that really do uh, play true to the sport. And, um, uh, you know, even for coming on the podcast, of course, we keep the anonymity yeah. at their complete discretion. But but to a lot of people, it's like, yo, like, graph is, it to them, it's so guttural, so personal. So uh, just what they do in extra time, isn't it? You know, it is. I don't plan to do graph. I just do it as I go along, isn't it? Mm. So more time is just... Places that I go past a lot or something like that, or I know I'm going to go past it again, so then that's where I generally catch most of my reaches, just, like, my day-to-day -day journeys and stuff like that, and I don't mm -hmm. go out my way to do it. It's just, like, a part of something that I do, so more time I'll just have something on me. Mm. If that makes sense, yeah. I'll say this much though: you've been moving around. For, I would argue for at least the last five years. I've seen a lot more tank. Do you know what I mean? Like you've really moved f forward in a in a very visible way. Um, and I don't know where that comes from. I think perhaps there's a, you know, when you you know when you hit your your style and you hit a, a certain um, note to what you're doing, it, people pick up on it a little bit more, perhaps. Yeah, but I've been writing tank from probably I think around oh six. Yeah. But I've always come and gone, come and gone and that. But yeah, probably in the last five years I've probably painted a bit more than what I normally do. Yeah. But yeah, just I don't know. So you never really stopped, you just kept on doing what you do? 
Nah, I've never, really, I've never fully stopped. No. Nah. I just quiet and then come back and then just quiet and then come back, but I've, I've never fully quit. Listen, people are going to be so intrigued about your story. Let's get from the jump. So where did it all begin for you, bro? We're talking up 2006, maybe earlier? Yeah, before that, but I started yeah. writing Tank about all six times, but I started, like, painting and it probably, like, 0204, something like that. Yeah. What were you writing before? Did you ever, did, did you ever take before? Nah, just writing different things and like this yeah, experimenting yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah, and then after, I just picked Tank because I like the letters and then just run with that mm. since then. Yeah, and yeah. And that was it. And what were your influences growing up? So how and how old would you have been at the time when you got into graph? I got into graph from like yeah six. Like I was trying to do graph. Wait, really that young? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say you really got a bug. Yeah, man. I just. From when I was getting on the trains and that from like early doors and yeah. just seeing it and it just caught my eye. And then since then I was trying to figure out like how it works and how to do it and stuff oh, like that. And then I like drawing anyway. So then that's what I, the road that I went down. Yeah. So if we're talking, uh, you must have been about 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was writing from early, yeah. Bro, that is early, <laughs> bird, early. Yeah. <laughs> Like on the walk to school and that, and just like school journeys and that, I was painting. And like after school and that, I was trying to do dubs and shit, mm -hmm. track sides and that from like school times, yeah. Who was it? Who were you rolling with at the time? Was there anybody that picked up on your uh, your skill sets of an early age? Any writers, anybody out there? No one older, you know, there's people like around my age, like meds. Yeah, big up meds, yeah. yeah. And um, peewits. Mm hmm. Yeah, like writers from the ends, like local nice. writers and that, yeah. And who else? Crow as well. Oh, nice. Big it up. Come on. Run uh, these nine names up, man. Brat. It's good to hear. Brat. Yes, Brat. Um, a few others. A few others. Yeah. And they were on the come up around the same time as, as you was on the way up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scatter. Uh -huh. Yeah, a few people still, yeah, from back then, yeah. It's so sick. Like, that, that generation of writers... You know, um, and being influenced in, but you know, by the people that influenced um, a lot of people on the podcast. That you know, North Weezy's always had its stronghold, hasn't it? Who was out there in terms of influence? People that you were checking for? Um, what like who influenced me, right? Or why? Yeah. Uh, probably like the DDS lot because I've I've got like a London style in it. Like I just like to do straight letters and that. Yeah, probably them lot to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. I just reckon like the DDS style of letters in it because yeah, yeah. my letters seem to be similar to to, to that. So mm. uh, yeah, I reckon that's probably what influenced me letters wise, mm. and that's pretty much that's it. Sick. What was your first experience of of real kind of you know on the edge of your seat graph moments? What was the what was the thing that really like kicked the adrenaline and you were like, right, I'm definitely doing this. It's from like school times, I don't know. There's nothing that I really thought about. I just, it just something that I just did, to be fair. Mm. Yeah, and I never thought someone's gonna question me about it like that or that. Do you know what I mean? So it just yeah. something that I'd done. Yeah. I never thought nothing of it, to be fair. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Because when you see when you see a lot of, you know, when you see a lot of graph, particularly in this area. I mean, when I think of North Weezy, I think to myself, man, it's like, it's an abundance of... Oh, yeah, and writers. WMB and them lot like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, come on. that inspired me as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, they, they had it unlocked as well. Yeah, side off. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of people, bro, but my, my memory's kind of shit. Yeah, SFL, yeah, there's too many names to mention, man. Slam. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, these are... Big up Slam. Um, These are these are dons, aren't they, from the, our neck of the woods? Yeah. Scan. Yeah. Yes, yeah, scan. Yeah, there's better people, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 totally. Give me, um, give me, give me the environment. Give me an environment which you grew up in. What was it like? It was all right. Cause I'm from like northwest, but mostly I'm in west as well. Mm -hmm. So I bounce from west to northwest, mm -hmm. and then I just get around really. Mm -hmm. So I'm like all around London, to be fair. Mm -hmm. What was that like growing up? Um. It was all right. I don't know. You got siblings and that. You got. You got. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I've, yeah? Got, I've got siblings. Yeah. Yeah. What they what they say when you started getting into graph like that, among other things. Uh, not a lot, man. They've got like different walks of life in it. Really? They're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like way different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like normal jobs and normal things and that. Yeah. They're not on to like the road and nothing like that. Nah. <laughs> 
That's crazy. Yeah, man. A lot of people find that, though, don't they? You know, mm-hmm. they're, 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 they're kind of the, the black sheep of the family. Mm. So, so, yeah. Yeah, did you feel that? Nah, not really, you know. No? Nah, I don't, I, you know what it is? I don't see graph as nothing bad, man. It's just art. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, do you think, like, the impression of that has changed over time? It kind of has, hasn't it? Yeah, it's more soft nowadays. And it's like anyone and anybody can sort of do it. But back mm. then it was a bit different and people stuck more to the, like, the unwritten rules, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, those rules are kind of, they're kind of more chilled now, aren't they? To a point. Yeah, and it's like everyone can do it and people can go sort of anywhere where back then you sort of couldn't go certain places and that, man, is, is like different, isn't it? Is that the thrill of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what about raising? Talk to me about raising. Did you raise a lot? Um, early doors I did, but then as I got a bit older, other things funded my graph habits. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I don't know, it just made sense to do other things and just get the paint than just trying to get paint. Yeah. If you know what I mean, it, yeah. it was quicker to make money and just buy the paint than waste time trying to go around to raise paint but I did raise a lot of paint but it was kind of shit paint Mm. so I'd rather just buy it but as as time went past but before yeah man I had to do um, Wilkinson Poundland Home Base Halfords B&Q's Wix Bang, just, bang. Yeah, just like standard things, isn't Not it? Not the other good product placements that yeah, you might man. want to be uh, buying paint for. Yeah. <laughs> Not exc- discriminating anybody here. Like B&Q acting one time just filled up the whole gym bag <laughs> and just literally walked out. <laughs> yeah. Really just like blew it all out. Yeah, fuck this one, gone. Yeah, it's literally. Too on top then. Yeah, it weren't, it weren't that that big. Before yeah. it was kind of hard. You know when you're bare young, like you stick out and then when you start touching like... 20, 21 and that, mm. it was all right, man. You can just walk in, walk out. Like, I don't know, I just don't really get noticed mm. going into places. So, yeah, man. But as you get older, really... it gets a bit harder. Nah, it gets easier, innit, compared really? to, like, being a teen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. I wouldn't look like a shoplifter, innit, so then people won't see me. I can just walk in, grab certain things and just walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all right, man. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, give me a day in the life of Tank. We'll go for first. We'll go in a day in the life of you as a young teen, like how you, uh, you know, from raising to painting to all the other shenanigans. Give us a day in the life as a young, a young tank. I don't know, man. Same shit. L- literally just wheeling and dealing and that. That's it. It's like nothing special, man. Just a normal, average London day type of thing, isn't it? Really? Even now, even at this age. Yeah, I've not changed much, unfortunately, man. <laughs> I've not changed much. I'd sort of refuse to age, bro. I'm stuck in my old ways. Really? How old are you now? Uh, 32. 32? Oh, that's a <laughs> man, Man's younger than me, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I think some of that is London... That's city life, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And there's some things you can't escape. Do you know what I mean? Yep, survival of the fittest, isn't it? Yeah, talk to me about that. <sighs> I don't know, man. You see, a lot of things are just normal to me, innit? But to other people seeing it from the outside might seem kind of different, innit? But mm. when there's certain things are just all you know, you don't really see it as anything, innit? Mm. Yeah, man. Well, you kind of trivialise it in your head? No, I just, I just don't really think, man. I'm, I'm not really like a... I think a lot, but I don't overthink. If I don't, I know it's sort of cliche. It don't make no sense, but I wouldn't sit stressing, and I don't tend to stress a lot. Really? Nah, man. You don't let nothing phase you. Nope. Really? Not what's the lot. what's the furthest you got? What's the closest you got to something phasing you? Were you just like, yo, I'm never gonna do that again? Mm. Nah. Nothing. Never. Nothing. Nothing. Really. Nothing bugs you. Not a lot, man. Not That's really. crazy. That's crazy. Um, well, tell me, tell me a story about Graf more recently. Anything, any good uh, adventures happen? I've been kind of quiet, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. I just paint here and there, but nothing special recently. Not of this year, not twenty twenty four, nothing yet, man. Really? But I plan yet? to do so. Yeah. I have, but 
nothing special yet. Yeah. Yeah, man, I've probably been out paying like two or three times this year so really? far. Yeah, man, I've not been, not had the time so far. So not even enough? Nah, 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 not enough, man, not enough, not enough. Uh, what, do, what, what, what inspires you to, you know, because you also, you're also quick with the colours as well, you're good with the colours. Like, what, do, do colours, you... not really, you know, it's not me. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's rap. Rap is the, more of the colour, man, yeah. I like different sort of colour schemes. I like, I don't know, I like, I, I like to pick colours that clash oh. and then somehow it might work, it might not, but that's what I like when something seems like it might not work and then somehow works. That's what I like. Do you think people lack that kind of um, uh, risk-taking with their colours, do you think they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, man. I never use like a colour chart or try pre-pick colours or plan anything. I just like to work with whatever is there at the time, mm. and then that way, I'm a bit more satisfied with it, whatever it turns out to be. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, a lot yeah. of people that be a head fuck? Nah, I like it like really? that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do characters too, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're covered with the characters. Yeah, I've got a couple characters, yeah. And you do That's what stuff. I need to do more this year, like, yeah, yeah. Colour, more, like, colourful productions and that. Yeah. And characters and shit like that, yeah, man. Yeah, because you go in differently like that. Yeah. What, what kind of characters do you mostly lean towards? Is it like a kind of DC or DC Comics or...? No, I've know? got my own little character thing that I do. Yeah, yeah. And that's about it, man. I just try to keep it simple. So where did you get that from? a bit from? different. I don't even know, you know. I just sort of made it up. It was just, like, mad basic because it's just, like, circle and, like, squares and then a squiggly line for the hair sort mm. of thing. It's, mm. like, mad basic from, like, early doors and then it just got a tiny bit better over the years and literally like that, it was just trying to be mad simple yeah. so then I could do it quick and be able to repeat it quickly so mm. it becomes, like, a little reflex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's mad. What do your friends who ain't into graph think of... You doing it? Uh, to be honest, they think it's a waste of time. Like people don't <laughs> understand it. But where well, I just got so many friends that are not into graph, I'm just sort of used to it. I don't. It's not. It's like it's been so many years now. It's, really? it's not really spoken about, isn't it? Really, they're just like kind of. Uh, it's just something that just I do, does, yeah. and yeah, literally that man. Yeah, they're That's not so really phased by it. But yeah, most of them like like some of the stuff that I do. Yeah. But I find a lot of people don't like the chromes. But mm. I love chrome. Like, chromes all day. Yeah, man, just chromes. What is it about people's attitudes with, t t with chromes and tags and that? Why, why so much? Why so much resent resentment for them? I don't know, but that's the side of graph that I like mm. and enjoy. Mm. More of like the vandalism side of it. I just love like chromes. Mm. Yeah, man. It always intrigues me why people can't see the value in the reach, the classic reach. Of, of putting putting your tag or dub somewhere yeah. really hard. Like, that's part of the thrill, isn't it? When it's got colours and that pieces, they're more, like, arty, you know? Yeah. So then it's a bit more appealing to the masses yeah. than, like, a chrome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people just prefer, prefer the safety net of a good kind of wild style or colour piece. Yeah, I like, I like letters more than... Um, the colour schemes and, like, the fills and that. I like yeah. the letters more. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think the character also drags people into the letters as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Characters make them, like, catch people's eye, innit? Straight away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, straight away, no messing. Um, with letters, who, who, do you, uh, who do you rate that's got good letter style? Vade's got sick letter style. Who said again? Vade. Vade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Uh, I don't know who's new, innit? Because even Vade's been about for time, innit? Yeah. Uh, do you like do you like the bees chick CBM look? Yeah, that's a bit techy still. Bit techy. Uh, Vade's is techy though. Vade Vade's got no chick is sick. Yeah, chick is bees sick. is good, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not too sure if it's the same person or not. <laughs> but they're kind of because yeah, it's all like collab. It's sick. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's a style in itself, isn't it? Yeah, that I combo. think it's more of it it's become like a CBM thing now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you know what, it's one of a couple of different styles that CBM hold, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, but they sort of collab it together yeah. sometimes, but it's a, it's a crew thing, so I understand it, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Crept has got cold letters, spat, yeah. loads of people, man. Spat. Yeah, yeah. Crept as well. These guys are, I mean, these are, these guys are yeah, North Weezy. I like, I like, I like Crept. Yeah. Crept is sick. Well, his hand style, his ta tag is sick. Yeah. Know? Because he's, he's more all around, isn't it? Characters, styles, throw ups, yeah. reaches the whole lot, isn't it? Identifiably yeah. his. Yeah. You like music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what would you listen to? What would you check? Mu like Blade Brown. Yeah. Like nice. UK rap. Yeah. yeah. UK rap fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. Nice. Drum bass? Yeah, I like drum and bass and all, yeah. I like, I like going raving and shit, I can't lie. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How soon do you go out raving? Popping pills and that. I've really? Gone, like, Are you on that? Yeah, Are you on that? I've gone Brixton like a couple months ago. There's a little rave thing down there, but I try to go as much as I can still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah who, I mean, who doesn't like raving? You know what I mean? I always see it the right. I always see it street culture as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I calm down, man. I've been calming down. I like it. It's a good vibe still. Yeah, it's a different vibe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah you're a very intriguing character, T. You're very closed, yet you're very. Again, it just it just magnifies that you let your you let your art do the talking, and I find that really interesting because there's some characters that actually use graph or their art as a means to convey. A different side to them. Do you know what I mean? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Do you feel that? Nah. I'm, I'm me, and then there's the graph. So there's two different people. Sort of. Yeah. Pretty much, man. Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like mixing the? You know. Do you like uh, blurring the lines? Between you personally, like and. Uh, I don't know. You know. Like girlfriends and shit like that. Like, do they ever? Do they ever see the two? The, the, the different side to you. The tank side. No, nah, I don't really mix graph and relationship and that because they're just like normal people, innit? They're not gonna understand civilians. It. Just, yeah, literally that, bro. It's just gonna, it's gonna seem like some crazy person, bro. Like, yeah. stop doing what I'm doing to plan to go somewhere, to basically vandalize someone's property, <laughs> take a picture, come home, and pretend nothing happened. Yeah. What's wrong nah, with you, man? Bro. Yeah, they will just think I'm a fucking psychopath. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you no. think all women think that about writers? Pretty much, man. I think people in the whole, man, they're, they're not going to understand it. Talking girlfriends, like, of course. Yeah, you know? like, why would you leave your house in the middle of the night, yeah. travel miles away to basically scribble on the wall and come back? Yeah. Like, yeah, people understand, would never understand it, but yeah. I'd just do it for self-satisfaction, man. Do you I think, literally do you don't female, do it for do no one else. Do you think female writers have the same problem uh, with their boyfriends? Do you think it's a universal thing? I would not know, bro. Probably. Yeah. I've never asked, to be fair. Yeah. But it's strange, isn't it, that people... And I often think this way. I'm like, how come you don't see the graph? Like, some people, they can be on a train and they don't even peep the... They don't even Yeah, they it. won't notice it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like something in the background, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is that? How do you not notice? It's like the whole idea is... <laughs> I don't know, but that's how you can tell a graph, right, isn't it? Their eyes are, like, everywhere. Yeah. And cause maybe because of the graph or other shit, I don't know, I've pretty much got fast eyes, like... Yeah. Or maybe from teeth and or something. They just like love to scan the room, and my eyes never stay still, innit? it? Really? Yeah, nah, they don't. Does that give you anxiety? Nah, I, I, I don't know. Nah. No, just constantly like looking around. Bro, probably from my PTSD and that, innit? it? I don't know, bro. That's why I'm always like on edge and I'm always looking around. How did you get that. PTSD? I don't fucking know, bro. Really? <laughs> I don't know. But you've been diagnosed comes. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And short-term memory loss and, like, a whole leaf of other shit, but... Really? Yeah. So, what, you forget shit, like... Like, like petty things, man. Not important things. Like, talk sometimes to me. when I'm having a conversation yeah. and if it goes for too long, well, so I don't know how it really works. Yeah. And then I'd, like, forget what it was or what I was talking about because really? my mind is thinking of something else. Well, it's good you was a 40 minute. You at least got 40 yeah. minutes of your time no, there. No, no, it's <laughs> um, When, um... When you uh, consider um, the lifestyle of a writer, and like you say, you know, we'll look out the window as fans. Yeah. And then you go and practice it, you do it. Like, do, do you feel like um, this sense of um, paranoia? Like I don't guilt. know, no, graph, no, I've never felt guilty from doing graph. No. Not even, what if you're, what if you're junk? And you're going on the way back from somewhere and party time, I've got a can of my 
pocket and you just go hammer and tongs and you can't remember what happens the next morning. Then I won't remember to feel guilty or not. Cause I can't remember it. How am I going to feel guilty if I can't remember But what if you walk down your road and you all of a sudden you see fucking absolute shelling all down your it's high street? It's all right, but that's why I keep the graph to the graph myself and my personal life to myself. So, really? so you don't They're not going to know it's me. Really? So I've got nothing to really worry about. That's interesting. And people that do know it's me, I doubt they're going to say anything and grasp me up. No. Yeah, there's no reason, man. I'm normally just cool with everybody so yeah 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 man yeah I, without question you're, you're one of the coolest cats that have been yeah, on man. this podcast without question like you, I, I, you know just you're just sitting there waiting patiently do you think that's to do with the PTSD as well is that you, 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 you know your attention span you you kind of just got to keep in the keep grounded in the moment bruv I don't know man really I'm not too sure bruv really What's the future, brother? What's the future for Tank? What, this year? Yeah, talk to we're me. We're going to go All on? City, baby. You go. That's, that's what we're doing this year. All City, baby. <laughs> yeah, City, man. Baby. More damage than that this year. Yeah? Yeah. You've been holding back from January and February, right? Yeah, I've been busy, it. I've just had so many things, like, just with my personal life and that, but mm. when I get times and moments to go out and paint, I just go out and paint. Yeah. Yeah. All city time. Yeah, 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 man. I've not really fully gone all city just yet. Like, I've got tags and stuff like everywhere and bits and bobs like everywhere and that and even up and down the country, but I want to proper smash it. Mm. Yeah. Like time to just, go full heart. Yeah, like, just plan it and just fuck it up, basically. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think it's way overdue. Way, way overdue. It's funny because you as a you as a, a writer, it's almost like you've built your own potential up and now you're saying, Yeah, it's time for me to do this. Yeah. It's because I just I don't know it is. Life catches up with you, bills, this, that, you know what I mean? I got a kid, bare things, so I ain't really got as much time. And even when I was younger, I was just busy like doing this, that and the third, so I've not really had the full focus, but now I think I can make time because I've sorted out so many other things mm. and this is what I want to do. So I reckon this year I'm going to put more time and effort into it. Mm. Yeah, man, 100%. Yeah, that's brilliant. I think a lot of people as well, just while on the subject of, you know, finances and shit, life shit, sometimes I think particularly for people outside of London, they... It's hard to kind of equate how how hard it is for people to be writers in London because of the prices of stuff. The general day-to-day living is really hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it could be 100% legit in London, man. It just would never work out for you. It's impossible. Yeah, everyone doubles in this and that, isn't it? So yeah. it just, that's what I'm saying to you, man. It's just that London way of life, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of things just seem to be just the norm nowadays. Mm. Where maybe like 10, 20 years ago, it just looked that different, but now it's just a part of life, isn't it? Like, petty crime is almost like a given to people that need yeah, to survive. Yeah, man, it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. Petty crime has become like the norm, isn't it? Mm. Like, yeah. You see people all the time doing stuff, and it's like, well, that's them. That's how I they don't see shit, man. I'm legally blind. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Apart from when it comes to graph yeah, on the trains. Bro, I don't see <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> um, but when you think about, when I say petty crime, I'm also thinking of graph, shoplifting and things. But nowadays, compared to some of our bigger problems, it's almost mm. like nothing. Yeah. It's like the, the bar's gone low. Like the threshold of people... It's not really crime it's in many respects, it's just survival. Well, shop, shoplifting is cool, man. If you're shoplifting from, like, big companies and corporations, bro, it's all right, man. Their shit is way overpriced. They've got mad profit margins and they've got, like, room for leakage in it because they're just big business. So it's all right. I don't think shoplifters affect them that, that much. Because people are, like, shoplifting petty shit, man. It's not, like, mad expensive things that they're going to be shoplifting. Survival so, shit. Yeah, man, so it's, like, petty, bro. Yeah, they. If anything, it's like, well, there's a reason for why people do that. You know, yeah. so it's not. It's not because they're doing it for fun entirely. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, they're not like shoplifting life changing nah. fucking things, isn't it? They're yeah. not. 
I was like, no, oh, fuck no. Unless they're like an expert, it's not going to be costing grand. It's probably yeah. 100, 200 pounds. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's true. A lot of it's survival. Mm. And again, going back to the streets, going back to city life. Yeah. There you have it. A to Z, right here, tank inside the place. It's been a pleasure having you on, my brother. Thank you, man. It's been good. It's Thank been a vibe. Yeah. Killer Killer Podcast striking again with a vengeance, yeah? You can rate it, you can hate it, but don't ever underestimate it. We are like that. Crime don't pay, neither do they. You stay lucky. Don't talk to when I wouldn't. Easy, Tank. Cool, Peace. Bro.